1 Samuel 13, 1 reads, Saul reigned one year, and when he reigned two years over Israel, Saul chose him three thousand men of Israel, whereof two thousand were with Saul and Michmash in Mount Bethel, and a thousand were with Jonathan and Gibeah of Benjamin, and the rest of the people he sent every man to his tent. Now I want to focus on this first verse here. This is one of the most inconsistent verses in all the modern versions. You'd think they'd say the same thing. 1 Samuel 13, 1 in the NIV says, Saul was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned over Israel 42 years. The RSV says, Saul was blank years old when he began to reign, and he reigned blank in two years over Israel. The NIV gives us Saul's age and how long his reign was altogether, and then the RSV lets you just fill in the blank, apparently. I mean, I think that's funny. Watch this. The ESV says, Saul lived for one year, and then became king, and when he had reigned for two years over Israel. And the Douay Reims, the Catholic Bible, says Saul was a child of one year when he began to reign, and he reigned two years over Israel. So the ESV and the DRA are saying that Saul was a one-year-old baby king, and when he was three years old, he picked 3,000 men to go with him and his son to battle. First Samuel 9, 2, in the second part of the verse, it says, From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. If the ESV and the Douay Reims are correct, then, then Saul should be in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the biggest baby. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old turning two, and they're in the 99th percentile for height, and yet they still don't come close to being head and shoulders above me. And they certainly can't count to 3,000. My, my oldest can count to 20. But they wouldn't be able to pick 3,000 men to go into battle, that's for sure. Just showing you how stupid these versions really are. Anyways, God bless. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.